Hello, Rachel from Certified Professional Roofing. This is Joel from JNDSEO. I'm going to show you three ways to improve your website and to beat your competitors online. Um, and I don't want to waste your time, so I'm going to make this as quick as possible. At the end of the video, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask those. I'd love to answer those for you. If not, no problem. You can actually go ahead and use any of the information that I'm going to give you today. I'm going to give you a lot of tips and strategies, and you could actually apply them uh, right to your site. All right, so the three things we'll talk about today are content, citations, and backlinks. So we'll start with content. And I'm on your page here. And I just want to see about how many words of content you guys have. And typically, Google recommends having about 1,500 to 2,000 words of content. You guys probably have under three or 400 here. Um, and the reason that Google does want so much content is that the more content you have, the more information you're putting out there so they know that people are more likely to um, actually you know want to read it and learn something so they're actually going to promote your site more make it stronger and make it found a little easier and that's going to help people to kind of find the information that they're looking for the other thing that you could do is a blog that works very similar where there's a lot of information tip strategies people like reading them and so if you have a blog those sites also rank pretty high Throughout this video, I'm also going to show you Lanier Roofing. They're one of the top results for the Greenville, South Carolina area. Um, so, you know, in order to move ahead, they're one of the top results. So it's good to kind of see what they're doing and see, you know, how we could apply that to your site. The three areas we talk about, ideally, you'd want to get ahead of them in all three of those. And that would help you to get ahead of them in the rankings as well. So if we do scroll through their page, you're going to notice they don't have 1,500 or 2,000 words either. You know, they maybe have six or 700 words there, tops. Um, one thing they do have, though, they do have the blog. And so having that, they can be a lot of work to maintain, but as long as you have it with some information in it um, and add to it, you know, it doesn't have to be every day, but um, once in a while, then, you know, that can help the site to rank higher as well. But the other reason that you do want a lot of content is the more content you have, the more keywords and keyword phrases you can put in it. So for Roofing Greenville, South Carolina, this one has 200 people who search this exact keyword every month. It's also what new customers search when they're looking for a roofer. So bringing in new business obviously is the way for most companies to grow other than retaining what they already have. First thing they're going to find is these ads here. After that, we're going to see the second thing, which is the map section, also called GMB or Google My Business. This brings us to our second topic, which is citations. And that's just when you get your business name, address, and phone number all listed together into a directory site. And that and those are sites like Home Advisor, Yelp, Yellow Pages, just to name a few. You can also link your social media, which will help as well. So the key with citations is that they have to be related to the field of work you do. They can't just be any random uh, site that you have them in. They should be related to roofing, construction, something like that. And the other thing is that this one here has like LLC. If you have LLC, it has to be in every one. The, whatever the name, address, phone number, all of it has to be the same, exact same everywhere. And then it will count. If it's slightly different, it won't link up correctly and it won't count and help you out. So the next part we have after the map section is the organic section. We're going to have 10 results that show up in every page here, just as any Google searches. Um, and these show up in reference to our what we searched, which was Roofing Greenville, South Carolina, our keyword. So we can rank this these uh, sites based on the results. So number one for Roofing Greenville, South Carolina goes to Home Advisor, which is a directory. Two goes to Better Business Bureau, also a directory. And three goes to Lanier Roofing, the, the site that we're kind of comparing with. What I'm going to do next is take your website, roofingupstatesc.com, and take a look at it, see how it's performing. So I'm going to put it into a program called Aris here. And I can see right away that you guys are using your headers. You've got your business name here, Certified Professional Roofing, as well as a keyword, Roofing Contractor, Pendleton, South Carolina. So that's a good thing. This allows Google to find you a little bit easier. I highly recommend doing that. So good job with that, guys. Um, next up, we're going to talk about our third topic, which is backlinks. And these really work hand in hand with referring domains. So the way backlinks work, these are just links that when people click these, it redirects them back to your site. These links are on these referring domains or websites. So, and these sites are essentially pointing back to yours by having a link on them. So if we used our Facebook business page as an example, that would be your actual referring domain or website, your site that you set up for uh, certified professional roofing, for instance. 
on Facebook and the actual part where it has the web address and you put your page link, that would be your actual backlink. And when you click it, obviously it sends you back. The more sites pointing back to your site, these sites are vouching for you. It allows Google to trust you a little bit more. And this number here is your trust. The higher this goes, the more keywords you can be found for, assuming they are on your page. Right now, you guys are being found for about 11 keywords. We can see, though, unfortunately, that's bringing zero visitors to your actual site. So it's not quite resulting probably um, in what you guys were hoping in the organic section. So let's take a quick look at your keywords and see what's going on with those. First thing we see is your um, the first keyword is professional roofing. So 250 people do search professional roofing. That's a good thing. It's part of your name. Um, and for this one, you guys are in the 24th position. So we know that there's 10 results per page on any Google search. So to be on that first page, you want to be in the top 10. We've actually found that, you know, 80 to 85% of people will not go to page two. And if you think of the last time you did a search on Google, you probably didn't either. Um, cause I know I don't always do that either. And so 24 for this one is going to put you in the middle of page three. So what happens is your position is going to be related to how many visitors you actually bring in to your site of the volume. So at 24, you're getting 0.14 of one visitor of the 250. And if you were number one for this one, you'd get about 20 to 37% of the volume going back to your site, just to give you an example. The further back you are, the percentage obviously does go down. So let's quickly look over at Lanier Roofing. We can see they have um, their header up here as well. And they've got 94 referring domains sending back about 1,600 links to their site. Um, and they've got, so the 94 sites pointing at their um, website is giving them a trust of 29, so a little higher. And that's going to bring them about 307 actual keywords they can be found for. These are what bring the visitors. And we can see that's bringing them about 293 actual visitors to their site per month. We'll take a quick look at their keywords here. We first one we see roofing Greenville, South Carolina. That was the search we used in our example. 200 people do search that every month. This says they are in the top position, but we saw them in position uh, three. So that's a little interesting. Um, usually it means that this is a little ahead and it's going to reflect on that or this is a little behind the actual results, one or the other. Um, but it looks like they've just moved up one spot, which is probably what happened. Because um, I have seen them in three or two, so that's probably what happened. It hasn't quite reflected in the search yet. So anyway, number one's bringing them 61 actual visitors to their site of the 200 because they're one. So that's why being number one is the best spot to be. Um, and obviously top 10 after that. So Roofer, Greenville, South Carolina. This one's got pretty big volume, 400 people search it every month. They're number five for that one, so the middle of page one, they're going to get 27 visitors of the 400 um, to their site. So the more of these you kind of stack up, as you can see here, the uh, the more vi visitors you're going to get, and these numbers go up too. It's just going to start to add up. So the more uh, towns that you do service, the more keywords you can get. You start adding those to the other ones, and it just starts adding up and getting a lot more visitors. Typically about 100 visitors to your site would be between 20 and 30 actual phone calls to you. So depending on what your conversion and closing rates are, could be anywhere between probably like two and uh, maybe four jobs per month. Could be more um, as well. So now that you guys have the info, there's three things you can do. Obviously, you don't have to do anything with it if you're not looking to grow. If you're looking to grow and you have someone that works on your site already, you could show them the video. It's got a lot of tips in it. Number three, if you don't have anyone that currently works on your site and you do want to grow your company and bring in more visitors, uh, I'm here to answer any questions for you guys. I will follow up just to ask what you guys thought of the video and if it was helpful for you. Thank you for your time and have a great day.